everybody. Uh, finally, 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 I've completed some journals. <laughs> it's been um, a long road on these, I'm afraid. But I want to first um, say that these were... Well, first of all, I need to thank Tracy for letting me uh, work with her designs. Uh, I've been really, really blessed to uh, have been on some great design teams. Uh, Tracy's got some fabulous um, kits in her shop that are so uh, functional, you know, no matter what your style is. Uh, I, think, I think you can make use of, of her designs. But uh, So I want to thank Tracy, but I also want to thank uh, Susie McGuire from, uh, I believe it's Creative Girl Cafe, and Lori from Girl on the Ridge, because these were inspired by those two ladies. Um, I've been following them for a very long time. They just do some amazing work. So thank you both. Um, you had a hand in this coming to be, because... <laughs> um, uh, Lori, she put me on to the beeswax, and I love it. I don't work with it as much as I'd like to, but um, I'm being quite thrifty with my beeswax because I brought that with me, um, but I love the look of it. And then Susie McGuire recently did a little video on what's, what's on your desk or something along those lines, and uh, she showed some paper bags that she'd been working with, and I was already doing these mini journals. Um, I had already begun, you know, putting those together when I spotted her and I thought, oh gosh, uh, let me dig around and see if I've got anything that I could use. And so yeah, I ended up finding a couple of little bags uh, that had been buried for some time. And um, so there you go. This is how this came to be. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just show you... Um, both of them on the outside because the mini journals are the same. Um, I've only got two of these, um, so we'll just get started. Um, lots of vintage lace went into these little snippets, and um, and then on the front here, I've got one of the little tags from this is the Ula Chic kit. Um, I will put a link below to that. Um, the paper bag has been beeswaxed. Um, and that's a process um, where you take the little pellets and with an iron um, just melt that into your paper and it gives it this look and it's, oh, I love working with it because the smell is amazing. Um, you don't really, yeah, there's a light scent after it's dried, but it's mostly when you're working with it. It's, it's just wonderful. So anyways, this is just opens. And inside, I've done a 5x7 uh, journal. And these have got 40, just, just over 40 pages front and back. Um, and I will show you more in detail. Let me just show you this one because, as I said, I'm not going to do a flip through on this journal because they are the same. Um, but I want you to see the difference. Um, there's a subtle difference. On, I didn't have two of the same type of doilies, so that's, that's where you get, you know, the the difference. Um, okay, so I'll set that to the side and let's get started. They're both um, closed with seam binding. Um, like I said, 5 by 7 um, Let's see. The covers. Wow. This was a process. I, um, trying to think. I believe this was a file folder. Started off, but I've got piano paper, I've got old pattern paper, old French book pages, old sheet music, I've reinforced the spine with uh, muslin um, fabric. Uh, this is the image from Tracy's kit, um, and then these are from her faux ephemera kit, um, and I've used lots of that throughout, along with other things from my stash. Um, so a lot of collaging on the front. Like I said to you, I don't know what's going on with me. I seem to be doing a lot more of the decoupage. And uh, it's not something I particularly like, but I do uh, love 
the end result. So I guess that's why I've, I've been doing more of it. Um, uh, lots of laces going on here again. Um, eyelet closure. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how they come out. They got a nice little feel to them. Um, and the paper bag, oh, I just love, love, love it. Um, okay, so going inside, this is um, very vintage, uh, shabby chic, because I love that. Um, and then on the cover, <clears throat> I've put this little diary place you can put your name and then I've just mixed up like I said lots of little um, bits and pieces from my stash. I did a little bit of collaging here and there's some cheesecloths. Ugh, cheesecloth behind. Um, and then I've got a couple of you know bits of fabric uh, ruffles throughout. And here's another little pocket. This is from the kit. I've done hand tear the I'm so sorry today, guys. I have had like two hours sleep last night, um, so my words are not coming to me. This is uh, hand-torn. And then what I did on, on the, the papers that aren't uh, from the kit, I've done some um, light stamping with the script. So it, it's, you know, it gives it a bit of um, dimension and a little more interest to it. Um, here, this is a junk mailer that I've altered and just included some more little bits and pieces and then a, a little bit of the um, ruffled trim there. And then inside, I've got an old recipe that I've printed and another little um, journaling card. Everything's been tea dyed and I I uh, made sure I did a lot of inking so there's not any white, you know, showing. And this is from the kit. It's such a, well you guys know by now I think that I'm crazy about this kit because I've, I've lost track how many, how many times I've worked with it now. Just um, avocado uh, skin dyed paper. Another little snippet there. A, a French uh, receipt that I've printed off the internet. Here I've done a... Um, just a little altered paper clip and <clears throat> this is one of my um, I did a tutorial on how to make these um, you know using the large doilies and this one I backed it with some of the shipping paper I called it craft paper but it's the shipping paper on the roll it's very cheap inexpensive so this one I backed with that and it I really like it because it's made the um, doily stand out even more so that's another little pocket there that's been I've clipped on. Here I did a little a flip. I've done quite a bit of stitching in here and you could use that as a little tuck spot. Um, here, this is a whole nother process of aging. Um, I'll show you guys. I um, did some aging of the paper clips and safety pins. Um, I did that a couple weeks back. We have a solution that we used to use, um, work with for our um, metals for the lighting company and we've still got that so I I just put that in there. So that's a whole nother process. I think um, if you don't create journals maybe you don't realize all of the steps that go into uh, creating these because there's a lot, you know, process, uh, just dyeing your papers, that's often a day or two that it takes just to get those ready, all the machine stitching. Um, uh, here's another little snippet, and then in here I've just included a couple of little um, pieces of ephemera. This is some of the paper from the kit, so I've just made it a little floating, uh, or not floating, a little pocket there. Some more avocado uh, dyed paper. Another little tag. Uh, fussy cut, a little rose, and then this is another little tag from my stash. I love, I just love how these have come out. I, um, here's some little glass <coughs> beads in the center signature. I love the torn pages on this, just uh, 
so shabby chic. And then this is another little um, dimensional butterfly backed with some cheese cloth. Another little fabric snippet there. And then this is from the kit. I love that tag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, here, I've got, this is another one from Tracy's Faux Ephemera. And this is from my stash. And then this was uh, pinned in here. What I've done, I run that little Rolodex through the die to get some, some interest and texture. So it's a, you know, it's a smaller journal, but it still has lots of writing space here. This was inspired from um, Andrea at Artie Mays. She um, tackled her stash uh, last weekend, so I did the same thing. And these little notepads, I just took loads of off cuts and put them together. And this is some old um, music roll paper. And I sewed it, and then I've adhered it to this this page. So you've also uh, behind you've got the lined paper sheet. So the lots of little writing there. I love how that looks. Um, give you a little close up. I just think that's so sweet. So many ladies to inspire on uh, YouTube. And here, this is a little flip out. So you got another little bit of writing space. This is a pocket. Um, here, I just haven't put anything in it, um, so you've got another little place there. And then this is that um, junk mailer, and inside I've put this tag, so that peeks through. I love that rose showing through. And then this is another... Uh, dimensional butterfly there. And then on this page we've got an altered guest check and then I stamped. I thought that went along with the Paris and then this is a little tuck spot. And then here on the back um, this was inspired to, uh, by Amity Bloom. She's just done these little fabric stamps. Aren't they adorable? And then I just cut those out, and then I just came back with this stamp and just lightly went over it so it, it looks like a real stamp. And then this little journal card is tucked in the back there. So you still got lots of room. You can add some things to it. Um, but I'm, I'm so glad <laughs> to have finally it. I feel like I finally achieved something this week. Oh, it's just been... Uh, everybody gets them these days. But um, So anyways, those are completed. And like I said, this one's the same. It's just um, the differences I had to use. I used a different doily there, but the journal is the same inside. Same amount of pages. Um... So those are in my shop, guys, and I appreciate everybody stopping by today. Um, I've got my flea market coming up on Monday, so I don't think I'll be doing any more videos this week because um, we've got family coming in. So I will be back next week, so you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye! <music>